Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Urban Tarot. Today we're going to do your beginning of March general energy reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. So my dear Scorpios, the song that I heard when I was meditating over you guys' energy was very superstitious by stevie wonder i will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to the following reading if you so choose to um the message that i heard very clearly is that some of you guys <laughs> some of you guys may be known to be conspiracy theorists or one of your friends i'm hearing like this is going to happen soon like somebody may tell you that you're a conspiracy theorist and if that's not the case i feel like something that someone that you call a conspiracy theorist Something that they actually said is going to happen and it's going to be like, it's going to catch you off guard. Like, you're going to be like, damn, that was true. I'm getting that message for you guys very strongly. Um, also, for those of you who are considered conspiracy theorists, I feel like you're getting ready to <laughs> meet people, like-minded people who feel the same way you feel about things. And for some of you all, it definitely has to do with love is what I'm getting. Because I did get the nine of cups for you guys and you guys are water. So that cup energy... Um, I'm hearing something about nine, possibly nine days from now. Also, around the time of the full moon. Ooh, okay. So, I'm hearing around the time of the full moon, which will be this month, right? On the 27th, depending on where you live, possibly the 28th. I feel like something is going to get illuminated. Because we're full of new moons. Particularly with the full moon, the veil is thinner. So, things that were initially hidden or people didn't have understandings about certain things. Especially with the mystical, the occult. Things are coming to the light. And I feel like, again, if you are accusing someone of being a conspiracy theorist, I feel like something that someone told you, you're getting ready to see it actually play out. And then vice versa, you know, if that's the situation for you, something that you may have told someone is playing out and then they're like, damn, Scorpio was right. And I feel like they're going to come and tell you like, hey, you was right. This, this really did happen. Okay. So let's see what we get for you guys today. I'm going to park the deck randomly, change the card at the top and the bottom. We'll do the same for your clarifying deck. And as always, there's absolutely no reversals in either one of the decks. So if we get reversals, I will read it as such. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> now, I was just saying about the full moon, right? Right behind her, there's that large full moon. And then you see how her um, crown chakra is illuminated. I'm telling you, for some of you guys, what I'm getting also is for some of you guys, these, if you said something to someone, they may feel like, damn, are you psychic? They may be questioning whether or not you're psychic. Some of you all could very well be. I tell people all the time, all water signs to me, and literally, if you just study it, all water signs are empaths to a degree. It just depends on whether or not you want to follow that and pay attention to the, those inklings and those nudges. But, it's, you know, of course, this is, a, this is a card of Aquarius, but again, that's that watery energy, right? So for some of you guys, you, this situation could be involving Aquarius, some moon rising Venus um, individual, or also something that you may have told someone during Aquarius season or someone who told you something during Aquarius season, you may be getting ready to see play out during the time of the full moon this month. I feel this month, okay, is what I'm getting, okay? So we're going to shuffle the deck upright three times, and then we'll shuffle until we get the major arcana for your sign, which would be the death card. We'll get the card that comes before, the card that comes after, and clarifiers for both, okay? Let's part the deck. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. So you may have had a handful of naysayers, to be quite honest with you. What's interesting is she has these two bases here that she's pouring out of. And for me, I'm, I'm hearing like a well... I'm literally hearing the phrase well of knowledge, like water being poured into a well. Like you're watering these people because look at it. It's, in, it's going into the water, but then you have this body of like this patch of earth and you have earth right here. So for some of you all, it may be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that you were speaking to. But whatever the case, I feel like you were dropping gems, like you were feeding knowledge to people. And I feel like these individuals are now going to be coming to you, asking you more questions. You actually have one, two, three hands right here. So you may have people now coming to you, seeking your insight or just want to hear your opinion about things. Also, I feel like something's getting ready to become balanced with your finances. Yeah. Whatever was happening in the past and things were moving very slowly because you have the Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving night in the entire deck of tarot. Okay. Things are moving slowly. Now something is getting ready to be balanced out. Again, you have the skills right there and some type of finances are coming towards you. Also, again, 
I'm going to say if there was someone in the past who did not believe what you had to say, I feel like now slowly but surely they're starting to connect the dots to what you were saying and figuring out that what you were saying has some type of relevancy to it. So let's see what we get for you, Scorpio. World card, okay? Sometimes, but look at how they're facing the same direction. Again, okay, so the world is about distance, travel, um, foreign exchanges, things like that. I feel like at one point they were slow to get on the bandwagon or slow to trust what you were saying. Now they're coming in a direction and the world, you see how it looks very mystical. I feel like this person was very earthy, okay? They were very 3D, pinnacles, very 3D. They only seen... You know, they only believe what they can see with the naked eye. And now they're realizing that it's a whole completely different world out there, the world card, than what they have been seeing in the past. I feel like somebody's getting ready to get some type of illumination, to be quite honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> now you have this at the bottom deck, the world card. They're, this person is becoming illuminated. I feel like you you may have talked to someone or someone talked to you. And something is now coming into reality. Something that was being said that was seen as conspiracy theorists ish is coming to pass and now somebody's seeing the world completely different this is literally the world card okay so let's go through the deck until we see the death card for scorpio sun moon rising venus and the visuals let's see again we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after to clarify okay so you have the king of cups Woo. and then you have the nine of wands chariot I feel like this person is coming towards you. Again, I want to say, I feel like this, <laughs> this person is coming towards you. Let's see. Yeah, wow, you have the emperor. So look at this. You see how this king of cups has his head up high? Like, you can't tell him what to do. This person is unwavering. You get the same energy from the emperor. Like, you can't tell this person anything. And now I feel like this person is coming. Now they're, they're kind of like coming towards you with some communication is what I'm getting. If you really look at this card right here, um, you have the nine of wands. Okay, I feel like in the past you may have had some type of communication with this person about something and they they were tossing it to the backside like, eh, whatever you're saying, it doesn't make sense. I feel like now they're kind of peeking from behind these quote unquote, I'm, I'm, I keep getting conspiracy theorist type of energy. Now they're realizing that what you're saying is definitely on point and um, I feel like this person may be in their feelings about it. Look at this facial expression. Somebody's in their feelings about something. Is what I'm getting, Scorpio. So let's get a clarifier for the King of Cups and the Nine of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, you got the Six of Cups. So this could be someone that you grew up with, you've known for a while, six plus years. Um, This is also the Soul. Mm, okay, so you could be talking to this person about soulmates and past lives because this is a soulmate card, one of past lives in this lifetime also. So in the past, let's keep in mind this is Cups and then you're starting off with the King of Cups. You have someone walking off. And then you have these two people reuniting. So I feel like I really, I'm getting a vibe of like mystical conversations and things like that. And then this person's like, whatever, and I'm out of here, you know, but then you have one person who is totally and completely on your path. And remember I was saying this earlier on, like, I feel like where one person may have made it seem like you were batshit crazy, you're meeting someone who is on the same wavelength as you is what I'm getting. That's part of the deck so we can shuffle. Yes. Ooh, wow. King of Cups twice. Major water sign energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Summer Rise Venus, real strong Pisces energy, and also um cancer. Let's get a clarifier for the King of Cups. And the Nine of Wands. Look at that. This is definitely someone who is marriage material. Um, you have the Herophant that's Taurus energy. Also, that gives me kind of a vibe of someone who feels like they have all the answers with that. With that vibe, yeah. Because look at that. This is someone who feels like they have all the answers. And look at how it came up. You just had the world card. And now you have the world card in reverse. So it's like whatever the hell. This person is stuck in their ways. Because upright, this is new cycles. Allowing new cycles to happen. In reverse, it's like someone's stuck in their old ways. So they keep going through the same cycles. This is someone who feels like they know it all. But of course, now they're in reverse. So I feel like some of you guys. <laughs> I'm picking up over the weekend. Some of you guys may have some lively conversations with people in regards to, yeah, in regards to some type of spiritual stuff. Because you keep getting all this major arcana. And you see how he's facing the same um, direction as the world card? This person may be a little emotionally immature. Although they would like to come off as a king or queen. Bottom of the deck. Yeah. This person doesn't know what the hell they're talking about sometimes. 
They kind of just talk randomly. Because keep in mind, pages are always communication. Someone bringing messengers of communication in reverse. I also feel like this would be in reverse. It's somebody who allows their emotions to tell them that they shouldn't believe anything that someone says. But also, I have to go back to that hair font card. That's a very strong card of tradition. So... This person possibly doesn't believe what you have to say because that's not how they were raised to believe things traditionally. But see, look at how this person is peeking from behind this wand. Now this person is open to seeing things from a, in a different light. I also feel like something is getting ready to happen to them. You see how this burst of light is behind him? Something's getting ready to happen to them that's going to illuminate the fact that something else, there's more to life than what they see on the table <laughs> look at that six of pentacles again so you got the king of cups being clarified by the knight of cups in reverse and you see how they're facing each other in reverse but they're not eye to eye they're not seeing eye to eye so i feel like this is kind of tripping this person out that what they initially thought was true is not you know what i mean because now they can't even see eye to eye with their own thoughts but I feel like this person is still going to be a little stubborn, but something is being illuminated, Scorpio, for this person. Love is card in reverse, Gemini energy, sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Also, this is soulmate. So you could be having a conversation with someone about soulmates, and this person is detesting it. They're saying, no, this is not true. It's not real. It's false. And then something's happened. Something. Okay, I have to show you this deck, okay? Because look at, oh my God, look at this. You got the love is card. And you guys seen I wasn't shuffling this. You got the love is card in reverse. Look what's right behind the chariot. The lovers, somebody who told you that they didn't believe in twin flames, soulmates, life partners, divine counterparts is getting ready to meet a counterpart. And now they're kind of like, damn, this is true. Now they're peeking from behind their little web of traditional belief is what I'm getting. Or you could be doing this. Let's get a click. Okay. Okay. Oh, you guys see how, it's, okay. You seen how it was. Tower card, exactly. Whatever they thought was true is coming down to a crash and halt because it was built on a faulty foundation to begin with. More Scorpio energy, also Aries. You have a lot of strong Aries and Scorpio energy here, okay? So again, I feel like somebody is peeking from around the corner of their traditional beliefs and it's coming tumbling down. Whatever those beliefs are, they are not true or they're now seeing that everything about what they believe was not true. This is Major Icon again, so the spiritual energy. So I feel like a lot of you guys are going to have some very spiritually based communication with someone. I feel like for some of you guys this weekend and for some of you guys around the time of the full, again, the full moon, again, 27, 28 for some of you are depending on where you live, but somebody's traditional beliefs is coming to a crashing halt because something new is coming in for them. That's going to make them see life differently. Literally. Like, whatever this experience is feels so magical that it's like there's no other way to explain it other than something spiritual in nature is what I'm getting. Mm. Okay, so Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.